And I spoke to him last week and asked him if he's been enjoying the love he's been getting from the new record. Yes, I mean, it's been really, really pleasing to see how, how people have responded to it. I suppose, you know, it's, it's, it's quite a different record from, from Familial. For me, it feels like kind of a natural progression from that point. And I think it just reflects you know, a very good year in 2013 when I was recording it. You know, it felt very, the sessions felt very productive with Ardham and Quinta. And so, I mean, I hope that kind of, that the spirit of, of those sessions come across in it. And that's what people are responding to. There's definitely been a huge evolution between all the work that you've done over the years. Well, I think you go in, into to, into anything new um, with that sense of it. You you know you want to stretch yourself. You want to find out what are the kind of the bounds of your your own musicality, really. Um, and so, I, I think that's what kind of what keeps it interesting for you as a musician. It's what drives the whole thing along for me uh, on my own. For what we do in in Radiohead as well, and. You know, I think that then that translates. You know, if you're excited about what you're doing, then <clears throat> then people will hopefully pick up on that as well mm. and make a better record for that. It's a huge thing to do to be in front of the microphone, but <laughs> I mean physically live, but also in the studio when it's it's your voice. Yeah, that's <laughs> taken some getting used to. Really? That's, that's very true. Um, and it took a while to find something that that worked on on the first record, Familial. Um, I, you know, that took a good, I don't know, year, year or so of trial and error and finding something that would, would work and then building up the, the arrangements around that. I mean, it was... Um, as long as that, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, um, but then, you know, with Weatherhouse, you know, very different arrangements on there. And so you kind of have to learn to sing in a different way. You know, they have the confidence of knowing that you, you've, you've achieved that before, um, but again, it's just, you know, opening out your, your voice a lot more and just feeling confident in that as well. So it's, it's, it's like any instrument uh, you play or you're singing or anything, you know, it, it's, an, it's an ongoing progress, always a work in progress, but you're always just there pushing yourself to, to grow into that role. He's also doing some live dates on his own this February. The 11th at the Queen Elizabeth Hall oh. in London, the 12th at the Brundle Social Club in Leeds, the 13th King Tut's in Glasgow, 14th at the Deaf Institute in Manchester. Of course, aside from his solo material, Radiohead hey. have <laughs> been in the studio working on new songs. So I had to ask Phil about that. Well, we had a very good autumn. Uh, we worked up till uh, just before Christmas, um, just working on new material uh, and see where, where it goes from there really it was a productive time it was just good to be back in each other's orbits and um, some you know well, to our ears some exciting things were happening so we'll get uh, we'll reconvene um, later uh, uh, in, in the year around March time because um, we've all got other things to, to be doing in the meantime um, but yes on the whole it's going well <laughs>